Hello, this is Sophie from Native Instruments. In this video, you'll learn how to download, install, and set up the ASIO for All driver for the onboard sound card of your computer. Some onboard sound cards give poor performance with professional audio software since they are not designed for this kind of application. ASIO for All is a free generic audio driver which improves the audio performance of your system and can help with a variety of issues, including playback dropouts and crackles. To download ASIO for All, launch your internet browser and direct it to www.asioforall.com. Here you'll find the latest version of the driver. We recommend downloading the latest official version instead of the beta version. Select the latest official version in your preferred language and download it to your computer. Next, locate the installation file you just downloaded and launch it. Windows 8 users have to choose yes when the user account control window asks for permission for the program to make changes on the computer. Follow the welcome screen's advice and close all other applications you may be running before proceeding by clicking next. Read the license agreement and confirm I accept the terms in the license agreement by ticking the box next to it. Click next. Make sure ASIO for all is ticked and again click next to proceed. In this screen, you can choose a destination folder. We recommend to use the default path already suggested by the installer. Click Install to start the installation. Now you should have successfully installed ASIO for All. Choose Finish to close the wizard. ASIO for All is now available as an audio device driver in any music application which allows you to select an individual output device. In this video, we will demonstrate the ASIO for All configuration using Traktor Pro as an example. Launch Traktor and open up the preferences. Choose Audio Setup and browse for the ASIO for All driver under Audio Device. Click on Settings to view ASIO for All's settings. In most cases, the default settings will work just fine. However, if you're experiencing audio issues in the future, some of these settings need to be adjusted. Under WDM device list, you should see your onboard sound card and a lit button next to it. This means the driver is working. Below, you can adjust the ASIO buffer size. With the buffer size setting, you can adjust the behavior of the audio driver according to the available processing power of your computer. A larger value lessens the load on your system by increasing the time available to the computer to perform all necessary audio calculations. 512 samples work fine on most computers. Increase the buffer size in case you experience dropouts or crackles in the audio playback. After closing the ASIO for All window, as a Traktor user, you can click on Output Routing in the Preferences to double check that the Output Master is set correctly. This should be automatically set to your internal sound card's left and right outputs. In case it's not, make sure you have Mixing Mode Internal selected and under L, select the sound card's left output. Under R, select the right output. Now you are ready to close the Preferences window and start using Traktor. Please note that to pre-listen to your tracks, you'll need a sound card with at least two stereo outputs. Check the Traktor manual for more information. Setting up ASIO for All as an audio device is similar in all Native Instruments standalone applications, as well as third-party software such as Ableton Live, Cubase and Pro Tools. Please refer to the documentation of your software for more information on how to configure your audio driver and output settings. For more information on ASIO for All, please refer to the ASIO for All instruction manual located in the installation folder. Music